This was my very first multimeter. My father bought this for me for Christmas in 1994. I've had it that long. Well, it works just fine. I've actually only gone through about two or three sets of batteries, which are little coin cell or button cell batteries. But over the past couple of years, it's developed a little issue with the, the power switch. Sometimes it turns on, sometimes you have to jiggle the switch a little bit like that. When you're switching from modes, you've got to jiggle it sometimes. That's not good. So I'm going to fix it right now. Uh, as a side note, Radio Shack still actually sells this very same multimeter, uh, but the new version has a slide switch, and it's, uh, I believe, it looks a little different. Uh, same color, if I'm not mistaken, but it, it just has a few little different features. But it's essentially the same exact meter. And it has a little built-in reel you can wind the cords up into. So what I'm going to do is tear the switch apart. I've done this once before, and it worked for a couple of years. I think I did this in uh, probably around 2002 or three. But I'm going to take the switch apart, and I'm going to put some dielectric grease into the contacts after I clean them, prevent corrosion. See what happens. Okay, we've got the unit torn apart here. Now all that's left of it is I have to remove this C-clip to get the dial off, and that'll allow me to separate the board from the, from the faceplate. Okay, dial's out. Actually, I don't even need to, to take the board off. All I'm going to do now is just clean these contacts. As you can see, I I bent them up a little bit the last time I worked on it, and that actually did help. Um, but they're starting to get tarnished again, and I'm going to just clean these with some alcohol. And that should take care of it. Okay, so I've cleaned the contacts pretty well with some 1000 grit sandpaper. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of this dielectric grease to the contact surfaces. Now this is in a somewhat of an aerosol can. Shouldn't take a lot of this stuff to, to get the job done, but just enough to coat the contacts like that. And we're going to put the, the dial back in place like so. And reinstall the C clip. Like that. I've used it. God, so many projects. Nothing too technical, just little things. I was never much of an electronics wizard, to be honest. But, um,. This little simple multimeter has served every purpose I've ever needed it for. Electrical or automotive, um, testing and testing. I just <laughs> tested a lot of batteries with this, with this little unit. Computer power supplies I tested with this. Of course, you can only do voltage, resistance, and continuity, really. But that's all I've ever needed it for. It served me well. It's battle-worn. But despite all that, it keeps coming back for more. So, put the batteries back in. And it's amazing that I've only gone through like two or three sets of batteries in 15 years. All right. Here we go. Turned right on. Good. Nice. Just as I remember it.